All right, in this uh, demonstration, I'm going to show you how to narrate a book in PowerPoint and do it very quickly. We'll start uh, with the slideshow tab, and you're going to record a slideshow. Hit the little drop down, and you can see that you'll start recording from the beginning. Just like that. We don't want to control our slide and animation timings because we'll set that up with page turning arrows as you've seen previously. So we simply start recording and I'll speak and switch to switch pages and we'll see how it works. Our trip to the farmer's market. We saw blueberries at the farmer's market. One thing you want to consider is make sure that you leave yourself a little bit of uh, dead space at uh, before you uh, turn the page and then you won't chop yourself your recording off. We saw cantaloupes at the farmer's market. We saw carrots at the farmer's market. We saw cauliflower at the farmer's market. We saw cherries at the farmer's market. We had fun at the farmer's market. And now you can see that there's a little speaker icon and if we run it we'll be able to hear the sounds. Our trip to the farmer's market. We saw blueberries at the farmer's market. Pardon the audio there, a um, little bit of a hiss, but that's essentially how difficult it is to narrate a PowerPoint and to make it even more useful. Uh, save it as, rather than a power presentation, save it as a PowerPoint show and then it will run immediately. Should you discover that, ah, you know, I kind of made a mistake on this slide, you can go back and record from the current slide and make corrections so you never have to start completely over unless you're really disgusted with what you've done but that's uh, narrating slides in PowerPoint 2010